best way to get better at programming is to practice. In this example, we're going to look at creating an else block or what's going to happen if our condition is false inside of our Java example. As always, this file is available for download using the link provided below in the description. We'll give you a couple seconds so you can download it. You can attempt it on your own or you can choose to follow along. All right, so let's get started. Here we have something that we saw in our previous example. We have int age equals 35, and we have an if condition that says if our age is less than 16, we're too young to get a driver's license. If we run this, we're going to notice that nothing happens because age is greater than 16. So what we want to do is create a condition that says, well, here's a block of code that's going to run if this wasn't true. Now, we could go in and say if age is greater than or equal to 16, have a second if block, but that's a lot more work than is necessary. So instead, we're going to say else. And if you're familiar with programming in other languages like C or C++, this is the exact same way that we have our if condition. I then have a set of braces for my block. Everything inside my braces is going to run. And then I can say something like system.out.println. you are old enough to have a driver's license. Now, you might say, well, how come the parentheses move to the new line? This is just an auto wrap feature inside of Visual Studio Code. There's actually no new spaces there. It's just purely for visual. If you look at line 13, you notice it goes line 13, then there's like a blank line, then it shows line 14. That is just showing that, hey, they're actually on the same line. Now, if we go and run this, when we run, it goes in and says, you are old enough to have a driver's license. So our true block did not run. That condition was not met. But because the condition was not met, it allows the else block to run. And therefore, we print out that line of code. This can be done with any if block that you have. You can always have an else block. So this is just a real simple example. Hopefully you found this helpful in learning how to create your else blocks. If so, please consider giving the video a like and check out the rest of the videos in this series.